Hello, this is James from xrobots.co.uk. This is part seven of my experimental boat build. <clears throat> if you remember from the testing video that I did last time on the River Hamble in Southampton, uh, basically the boat was quite um, tippy from side to side, and that's due to the pointiness of the hull. Um, it should be much flatter. <clears throat> so at the end of the last video, I decided that what I was gonna do was um, basically make it into a kind of a tri-hull by effectively adding stabilizers to each side. So the plan is to stick all these bits of polystyrene down um, and obviously sort of laminate them up so they follow the contour of the hull and then cover them all with fiberglass like the rest of the boat. Um, and that should give me effectively a much, uh, on average, flatter hull at the back. Um, I'll also have these channels where I can get a couple of propellers to sit at the back, probably quite a lot lower in fact. Um, and that'll be part eight for the propulsion device. So let me get on with sticking those down and covering them with fiberglass. So I've started to stick these on and I've uh, tried to get that to match the contour of the boat. Um, obviously the polystyrene sheets are flat and the boat is curved. So um, I've had to stick that down. I'm using hot glue. Obviously the hot glue takes a while to cool because the polystyrene is an insulator. In fact, it's insulation board. So um, it's taking a while to stick down, but I just need to build the layers up one by one and have it all match the contour of the boat. So let's grab the next one. So obviously that has to be uh, pushed in there and stuck down and then we'll continue. Here we go, so I've stuck all of those layers on. They're all contoured to the hull, which took quite a while to get them to stick. So there's a few things I've noticed where that line's not quite curved properly, so I just need to trim those. Um, but basically it's all gonna get primed with PVA and then I'm going to fiberglass over it. So I've primed up the polystyrene with PVA, so the uh, polyester resin doesn't eat through it. And now I've cut these bits of um, quad axial mat, which I'm just basically gonna wet through and try and make the rough shape. I'm gonna try and pull them as tight as I can so I don't get all the ridges from the polystyrene. Um, I'll probably use another coat of something, like a thinner tissue over the top to seal them. Possibly multiple layers of this, we'll see how it comes out in terms of strength. So there we are, I'm not gonna film myself doing the fiberglassing. So the next bit of film will be hopefully all of these covered. All right, so I've built my fiberglass lumps. Um, there are two of them. They're fairly crude. I used two layers of woven rovings, which is by actual mat, and then some surface tissue. There's a few little lumps and bumps, which I need to sand off. But on the whole, they're pretty tough. So um, before we put this back in the water though, I have one other task with, uh, to do to the main hull shape. So as you can see, I've cut the boat in half. It now looks much more like the right shape. It's much shallower. If we look around the back, you can see the uh, lumps that I've put on the bottom, which of course are gonna make it much more stable in the water. So I've got a bit of touching up to do. I need to put a new rim on here, ideally, which will be a piece of polystyrene covered with some fiberglass. And I just need to go over these bare polystyrene edges again. Still got quite a strong frame in here. So the thing's still really rigid. I've just lost a load of weight and a load of depth. So I'm going to do uh, the fiberglass reinforcement around the edge. So I've stuck 
basically a square of polystyrene all around the edge of the boat. Um, I've primed it with PVA already. I've also got these pieces that I need to cover where I've cut off the supports internally and also uh, along the back of the boat here. So I'm going to be uh, using this, which is fiberglass tape, which is um, a kind of open weave. It's a bit like um, a bi-actual woven roving, but it's quite fine. Um, that's a six inch, 15 centimeter wide strip. I think I've got a 50 meter roll there, which should be more than enough. So I'm just gonna use that with, uh, again, normal polyester resin, just to cover the strip all the way around, probably a couple of layers um, and Obviously patch up those bits and pieces as I say, and there's like some dodgy bits where I've cut out the support that I need to cover, so I'll just be um, using a few layers of that to cover it. And hopefully when that's done, that should conclude this part of the video. Alright, so I've covered my edges in fiberglass all the way around and I've also made this crude trolley as you can see which works quite well which is uh, just some trolley wheels and some bits of wood and basically it's got these handles so you can wheel it along like a wheelbarrow and go and chuck it in the sea or wherever So the next video will be um, either testing somewhere in the sea or making a propulsion device. I haven't decided which way around to do it yet. Stay tuned for more updates.